Alright guys, here we go with another What's New video from Fanatics, or we've been calling it the New Arrivals. Starting right here at our mixed African cichlid tank, I had somebody bring me some locally raised mixed African cichlids, including a couple of real big guys like that. i uh, blown these guys out at our regular mixed African cichlid price, so uh, if you're looking for some really nice colored, nice size Africans, go no farther. Let's see, next on the list I have, surprise, here we have these haps that came in this week, and those are actually another shot on red empresses, we're going to put those on special this week because we didn't make sure of those, we ordered something else. Also you'll see where there's some baby red zebras in there, those are locally bred as well. So that's new this week also. Here we have another uh, Northern Spotted Boramunde. They're a great big Jardini arowana or Australian arowana. A cool fish like this deserves more than one name and he's got several. Came in nice and big again, uh, offered for the same low price. Here's a baby monster, let's see if we can get the lighting right on him. Here's a baby monster, it's a baby pahaka, a nice and fat little golf ball. A smaller golf ball, maybe a big marble. He'll be big someday. Been having a hard time getting puffers in general, so I was pretty excited when I found this guy. I don't know. Great selection of Central American and a couple South American cichlids came in this week, including some that I've never actually had in the shop before, like this fella right here. This one's a freckled cichlid. They're in the same Maskeharis group, or, um, I've got that one. They call those a Rirohiros in the genus. Closely related to like the platinum cichlids on those guys. A new group of electric blue jack dimpsies. There's meaning to order electric blue acaras, but that's happy accident. Got a good price on these guys this week. And I got a bit of overstock actually. So if you need an electric blue jack, they have amazing colors and we have several. We got another silver arowana baby in this week. It's not quite a baby. He's got some decent size on him already. He ate pretty good this morning. It's a season where we're not getting the itty bitty guys. Good. This is a reticulated biker or a Matagumbe or some such thing. Super cool biker. These are the ones that get the bright green on them. He's being a little bit shy, but he's super nice. Good size on him, too. Nice size Warus this week. Got six of them. Came in with their spots still, but they're oh, bigger than a 50 cent piece on these guys. A couple of them. Six of them. Looking amazing. Here's a Monte Cristo cichlid. Monte Cristos. Monte Cristo cichlids are another one of your Central American guys. I believe they're loosely in the Bayha group. Awesome dull eyed macaw cichlids or macarguinsis. Already got some color to them. They're two inch range. We got another inch before you'll see the amazing adult coloring on these guys, but they're already starting to look pretty good. Here's another Central American cichlid I was unaware of before I did a little research to see who the heck he was. This guy's called a topaz cichlid. It's kind of reminiscent of a T-bar when you look at their eye. Pretty little fish. It's pretty excited to offer those guys for the first time. Black belt cichlid is firmly in the Bayha group. Little fish, beautiful collars. Inexpensive, neat, larger Central American cichlid. Are a must for any planted tank. 
hardy little guy. They actually like to be in groups of putting two or three or five of them in your planter tank to keep your algae under control is always a good idea. They don't normally mess with your plants, but they will eat the algae off. It makes them a great ad. Blue seam ancestress, the 183, looks amazing. Broken line royal, the 191s. Got a couple of those guys this week looking amazing. We have leopard cactus pleco, sliding up in the filter. L114, red finsternella. Nice little pleco. These are red cap arandas, some of these seem more like red headed arandas. Not seeing big winds on these guys yet. But, uh, nice white and red pattern. And here's our little red tail shark. These guys. Favorite mini tanks. Remember, these guys get. Pretty good size, so they're not the best choice for a small community tank. They can get a little aggressive too. You can see the split fins. A lot of times they'll split each other's fins when they're tussling for dominance in the tank. These are large neon rosy barbs. Turned out amazingly nice. A little spendier than they come in sometimes, but they're a lot bigger and a lot brighter too. So super cool find on these guys. More baby bushies, because we always need more baby bushies. Some of these guys are pretty tiny, but some of them got enough size there to be ready to be a good ad for your tank. It's no better algae eater. Crown tails came in pretty nice colors, some varieties in their end. Decent price on them. Put them in. Oh, she looked nice. We got bettas and cups still because I'm a little overstocked. We can get a good picture of this guy. This is one of those galaxy uh, male bettas, galaxy kois. He's got a really interesting orange color through his body saddle. Really cool fish. This guy, less orange. Now the galaxy. But super cool spots. Nice koi. Here's what those galaxy koi's look like when they're in a uh, tank with good light. Such an amazing fish. Those colors come blasting out of there. A group of female koi's as well. They're the galaxy counterpart. Koi females. Not a bad price on these guys. Some great colors. Oh, there she is. It's like, where is she? Where is she? There she is. So beautiful. I'll get these guys all in tanks as I get space opened up. Got a great selection of bettas right now. Another really awesome female. Yeah, another one hanging out back there. Can't see her so well. I've got a better look at this guy. In the bag yesterday, he's being uh, uninterested in coming out and showing off. Still looks like he's trying to settle in, though. He's found a cave that's his own. Super cool. He's about 10 inches or so, fire eel. And we got a, actually a really good price for a fire eel of this size. More blue and gold rams. There's the blues and the golds. Amazing fish. There's a new batch of neon tetras in this week. Picked up a lot of live berries this week because they've been picking up in popularity. Uh, YouTube has been our friend when it comes to doing live bears. Awful hard to do them on carb service, but uh, y'all have been checking out the videos and that's allowed us to 
bring in more and better live bears. These are the snakeskin antlers. A little different than the kinds I've had in the past, but I really like them. With that black spot on them with the nice cobra tail. Neat fish. Scarlet enders. Got lots of females with these guys. So got some other more of a rainbow colored or El Tigre style handlers in here as well. Dojos are always a cool fish. These guys are in the three to four inch range, probably closer to four to five inch range actually. Got nice he is. Regular dojos. Got them pretty inexpensive this time. And they look real good, so snap those up while they're available. The Asiatics like these have been hard to get recently. Smudge spot or violet quarry, one of my absolute favorite types of quarry cat. These are little tank bred babies. They're not itty bitty tiny. Sometimes they send them out so small that it's hard to get them to eat, but these guys look pretty good. These are the yellow tuxedo guppies. Some of them look more like green snake skins. But either way, they look good. There's some swords hiding out in there too, but nice group of yellow guppies. These are the Japanese blue guppies again this week. Some of them got the orange in the tail, some of the yellow. Really pretty little fish. Nice light blue color on all of them on their body that's really vibrant not to miss these guys have been flying out of here faster than i can buy them blonde frogs albino dwarf frogs or gold frogs get all kinds of names uh, cool any way you want to look at them a lot of times when we get these they're itty bitty tiny and skinny but these guys came in with nice size to them cute little fellas. They look great. I was really happy to see those on the list this week. And these are the dwarf African frogs. Got those available again. Nice fat guys looking good. Love it when we can get these guys. Another thing that's been semi hard to find this year actually but we've been getting them the last three orders and as quick as we get them they go out so it's a good time to pick up yours. Got a whole new batch of orange shrimp this week. I think I ran right out of the frame. Whole new batch of orange shrimp this week. We've been selling shrimp like they've been going out of style, but we've still got a good stock on all of our colors right at this moment. Restocked only on the oranges this week. That's because I bought extra stock on both the reds and the blues. Orange neos looking great. Nodis rainbows look much more impressive in the tank and in person than they do in a bag. One of my absolute favorite pseudomagills. And I love pseudomagills. I love all rainbows. Here we have uh, zebra nearites. We've got a good selection of nearites in right now. We got more zebras yesterday. Always got to have yourself some nearite snails to keep the tank clean. Black ghost knife is a perennial favorite. Super cool fish. A little bit of a challenge to get a good video of them because they hold on to stuff. He's going to come out and play. Super cool fish. Another one of those things we try to keep around all the time. Been having a bit of a hard time getting them lately. But we've got them now. Come get them today. Chili rasboras came in this week. Been having a hard time finding those guys. group of them. Also in the same tank we have a whole group of pygmy corys. Corydorus pygmaeus. I love me some dwarf corys. Don't get bigger than an inch. Here's the java fern we got new this week. A perennial favorite around here. Hornwort clumps. We got them out here to propagate. Ready for you anytime you like. 
got. I got a little confused when we were unboxing on the sizes on everybody. This is a nice grade of Sarasa. I think that these guys are the up to six inch, like the four to six inch Sarasas. And really beautiful fish in there. These guys for sure are the small Sarasas. We won't mix those up. I got a good price on these this week. I went ahead and invested in some bigger comets. We all have been looking for some big, bigger guys. Let's open up this other bag of Sarasas and take a look and see what. Make sure I got the grading right. These guys are supposed to be up to eight inches. And that guy is pretty big. Some of these guys are a little off grade, I think, but. Um, Nice colors again on those guys, so real nice, even if they're um, maybe not quite as big as I'd hoped. These guys here, very impressed with these guys. These are the Shabunkins. These are the up to five inch Shabunkins. And great colors, great size, nice tails. Those guys are, they're gonna fly out of here. Those are pretty awesome. Okay, and then, we got another batch of Ogons, or Ogons. Nice colors. These are the five inch Ogons and a nice size on them. I think they grade at four to five inch. I think they're at least five inches on those guys. Not as big as our sevens, but really nice. Here is Butterfly Koi. These are the five inch butterflies. Another nice colorful bash of these guys. Good variety. An all white one there. That's kind of cool. Okay, and that's those guys and some monsters. Seven to nine inches is what the grade said. Very stinky. That's a nice big fish in there. Let's see if I can get them so you can see them. Look how big that guy's head is. Nice colors, nice bright colors on all four of these guys. Uh, nice looking large koi. Okay, okay, guys, that's what we got for new stuff this week at Fanatics. I thought I would uh, end up our video with a little teaser on the plants that we have in stock. I keep promising you guys some tank picks, and I haven't got around to getting them yet. But here's a little teaser on our way out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you need. The more you guys interact with our videos, the more discovery it gets, the more people figure out what we need that we're here and uh, give us the ability to bring in more greater stuff at better prices for you. So be part of our ever-expanding mission to bring you the best in tropical fish and plants, ponds, the whole bit. Guys, I appreciate you bunches, and we'll catch you next time at Fanatics New Arrivals.